Okay, you guys, this is going to be pretty quick, but it's something that's really bothering me and which means it's a it's a it's another veil that's going to be lifting from me soon. Um it's what's going on with these pastors and um the way that I'm being singled out the way I am. What I looked up last night was to see if if it was written anywhere in the Bible that that Satan or Lucifer or, or the demons had ever healed anybody. Jesus specifically said that Satan cannot cast out demons. He never says anything about can, can Satan heal? Can Satan heal the sick? Never says anything about that. I can't find it anywhere on Google. But what I did find, which was very scary, were lots of Christian... Christian uh, writers talking about that there's nothing in the Bible stating that that Satan is able to heal the sick. So they're they're concluding that only Jesus can heal the sick. So meaning the Holy Spirit. So um so so my thought process went to this can't be right. This can't be right. Why? Well, how do I know that this can't be right? You see, it was what I was telling you the other day when I when I saw the sleep in the people in my church that they don't even believe in demons. And I couldn't very well sit in that church to people who don't believe in demons and tell them that um, I'm sorry, there's a demon inhabiting this form right now who's trying to kill me. Um, of course, I couldn't say that to them, but I, in fact, know that demons are real. This is what I'm talking about. So here's something else that I know that's real. That Christians don't know. Um, one of the things that made me believe Nithya Ananda so well. For those who don't understand, Nithya Ananda was my former Hindu guru. Um, who actually sent this demon here to me and who is stalking me. Um, one of the reasons I believed him so well was because all of his sannyasis, and sannyasi to a Hindu is the equivalent of a, of a nun, Catholic nun. They're supposed to be celibate, except they're all screwing the guru. None of them are celibate. Um, and uh, as far as I know, Catholic priests and nuns are not celibate either, either. This is all a farce. This is for all the sleepers to believe that they should be living a certain lifestyle that, that none of these priests, nuns, or anybody are living. How did I get to a place where I'm a genuine celibate? It could only be the Holy Spirit. Understand, it's written in the Bible. Man on his own can never achieve these things. So for all of these, these, these sleeper pastors out here who were doing their damnedest to make me believe that the Holy Spirit was not here, um, they are in fact the ones who are massively in the sleep. Okay. So what I want to tell you, why I believe that Hindu guru so well, his sannyasis told everybody how he would just lay a hand on people and heal them. Um, one of the cops that arrested him for rape was bringing him to the, the jail. And he knew, Nithya Nanda knew that this guy had a problem with his knee. One of the cops had a problem with his knee. Nithya Nanda just, just reached over and touched this guy's knee and he healed him. And from what they said, that guy, that cop has been a follower of Nithya Nanda ever since. So Nithya Nanda, I was also told now, all of this is hearsay, mind you. I've never seen him heal anybody. Um, but I will tell you about two healings that I received from this demon that's here. Um, I was also told by his sannyasi, not me personally. They said it over the internet, so I heard it. Okay, that's what I mean. I've never spoken to any of them personally, one-on-one, -on -one, never. Why on this earth would they be stalking me? It's the same reason that these pastors are stalking me and abusing me because I saw who he was. That's why. And I refuse to become submissive and brainwashed by him. That's why. That's why he's stalking me right now. 
It's the same reason why these pastors are abusing me because I could see who they are. I could see their sleep and I refuse to be submissive to them because they had nothing to teach me. Um, so what the sannyasi said was that one of their sannyasis was riding a, a bicycle in India and he got hit by a car. He was brought to the emergency room and he died there. And by the time the, the people at the hospital with the sannyasi were able to get in touch with Nityananda, 20 minutes had passed already. And uh, Nityananda brought that guy back to life. He's walking around today as far as I understand. All of this is hearsay. I cannot, I cannot uh, guarantee, validate any of this. This is what the whole world has been told about Nityananda. That's why he walks around saying he's an avatar. And before I understood what an avatar was, uh, he kept telling everybody it's God reincarnated onto the earth. Well, no, then he came out and said he was an alien. So um, before I understood really what an alien was, um, I just thought that they were another species. Well, then I'm brought back to the Bible and... Um, I heard Bob Larson say that the Bible only speaks about angels and demons. It doesn't say anything about aliens, that demons shapeshift. And um, that's who these aliens are, they're demons, because all of it is in the second heaven, which is run by Satan, which makes perfect sense. Not understanding that there are different dimensions. Um, these people in this sleep here don't understand anything about these dimensions. So um, this is how the spirits can coexist with us in the 3D world, but they are in fact in a different dimension than we are. Um, what this demon that's here did, it literally healed. I believe I had a meniscus tear in my right knee because I fell outside when I moved up here and uh, my knee was killing me. I could barely walk. I was like, oh my God, please don't tell me I have to get surgery. And... It actually uh, did something in my right kidney. I had a cyst in my right kidney, so I don't know if it saw that the cyst was getting big or what, but um, it healed my, my uh, it did something. I felt the electricity, felt the electricity. And in, on my knee, it was like precision electricity, different, different angles, it, it healed the meniscus in my knee that I never had a problem in my knee after that. And I said that it was Nityananda that healed my knee and they gave me the thumbs down at that time. So it wasn't Nityananda. It was this being here, this being that Nityananda sent here that did the healing. So so I want you to understand that not everything not everything that Jesus knew or that Jesus encountered is in the Bible. And one of the things that the, the, one of the people at my uh, Bible study said to me when I spoke about the book of Enoch, I said, Enoch is mentioned in the Bible, so are the Nephilim, and yet no one reads the book of Enoch, and I'm not, I'm, I can't for the life of me understand why. What he said was that the books of the Bible will put together through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, it was felt that the book of Enoch was not uh, put together correctly, that it was written incorrectly. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. Because um, if, you, if you looked at that video of that guy critiquing Signorelli's video on Catholics, you will see he said the same exact thing I did. The Catholics are the, one, are the ones that chose the books of the Bible. And here's what I want to tell you. Uh, this is why this was bugging me so bad. The Holy Spirit just led me to the answer. Going back to the days of the Romans, they believed in gods such as Isis and um, uh, Osiris. Um, they, they also believed in all of these false gods. This is why, in fact, the Jews were the chosen ones. They believed in the God of Abraham, where even the, the people that are today known as Catholics they believed in pagan false gods. This is why we were called the Gentiles. And I had made a statement a couple of years ago, I said, because I thought it was just the Jews that made up that name Gentile. And I said, it sounds very racist to me. 
because I had never read the Bible. When I read the Bible, I saw the word Gentile in the Bible. This was God's word. This was not the Jews' word. This was God's word. So I understand now why the Jews were the chosen ones because they believed in God, in the God of Abraham, but they they were following the pagan practices and the witchcraft and the sorcery of the people around them in the area where they lived. And you can't mix them. You can't mix the both. This is why Jesus was sent there to try to save these people. Unfortunately, they started following mammon and they fell in love with money. Money became their God. Uh, the same thing that I'm seeing with a lot of people out here. Money became their God. Name and fame became their God. They're all idol worshipers. They're all idol worshipers. When someone like me comes along who has literally transcended the veil and can see all that's happening here, and I have no interest in money. I have no interest in name and fame. I am truly from the light. I am a threat to these people. I am a threat to these people. And so is Jesus a threat to all of the people that were around him. As you heard me read in the book of Revelation, um, Moses and Elijah come back down to prophesy to these people who have begun worshiping the Antichrist and uh, they were a threat also and they were killed. This is exactly what's happening. Those of us from the light, we get brutally attacked. We get brutally attacked. Um, I knew that, I, but I had never experienced it before. And I had to I had to be led to the answer and the Holy Spirit gave it to me this morning. Um, the reason the Catholics did not put the book of Enoch in the Bible was because the Catholics were practicing these uh, th these uh, demonic powers. They had uh, they had these secret societies where um, there was the Knights Templar. There was another one where they were having orgies. Um, I'm trying to find out if there was human sacrifice there. Something is telling me that there was human sacrifice. This is why the Catholics did not choose to put the book of Enoch in the Bible. They did not want people to know about these demons because they were using these demons. Catholics were using these demons in these secret societies. They did not want people to know about what they were doing. This was why the book of Enoch was not put in the Bible. So I want you to understand the, the series of events that happened yesterday. Um, I, I put out the message from the Lord for these pastors. Um, I, I made a, a clarification video to the ripple effect video explaining that I was not the one that came out and uh, revealed Signorelli's past and, and betrayed any secrets that I might have known about him. Not, none of that could have been further from the truth. And um, what did Signorelli do? I said the psychopath made his, uh, made his appearance. He puts out a video of him healing somebody's hearing. And that was also a message for me about the hearing. Still trying to um, shut me down and make me follow them. You see, they that will never happen because they all need to follow me. You see, I'm leading people into the light, not the darkness. I'm leading people into the light. And what I want you all to understand out here, they have all, even now, Maddie Nottage last night did the same exact thing. She told everybody not to listen to me anymore, that I am attacking the pastors and I am attacking her, which is the complete opposite. What did I tell you about when about the truth you know in the sleep, how it is the exact opposite of the existential truth? Here you're seeing all the lies being put out by these so-called anointed people. They're doing nothing but lying out here. They are totally of the darkness. And they're all telling people not to listen to me. They don't want you to hear the truth. This is, I am, I am amazed and I'm baffled by what I'm seeing out here. They don't want you to hear the truth. And so I want you to look at um, that video that Signorelli put out 
right after um, I, I made that clarification video saying what he did, what he did. Then he put out, then he put out that video that he that he healed somebody. Then I put out the video about him lying, and that even that pastor that did the critique on his Catholic video caught him lying. Um, I want you to understand. The Bible only speaks about Jesus saying that Satan cannot cast out Satan. He never speaks about can Satan heal illnesses? Can Satan heal the sick? Can Satan raise the dead? Well, I'm here to tell you he can. These are the powers that the Antichrist is going to mimic that are going to make people believe that he is God on earth again. This is how he's going to do it. Nityananda has already done it. So I want you to understand, it says in the Bible, if you don't keep one of the commandments, you have broken all of the commandments. These pastors out here, their behavior is atrocious. It is so dark. It is so dark. And I'm going to tell you, that healing that Signorelli did, it did not come from the light. That man has no light in him. He has no light in him. So if at one point he says that, that he was saved and he was changed, um, if at that point the Holy Spirit entered him, as is stated in the Bible, uh, the Holy Spirit will never remove the gifts that were given will never remove the gifts. So Signorelli can continue casting out demons, but darkness has moved in very strongly in him, very strongly. So what you're seeing, the healing at least, is not coming from the light. He is using dark powers now. He's got a taste of the fact that he can manipulate people and people are falling for the crap he's selling them. And he has bought into the dark side. And mammon is his God too. You guys really got to build up your discernment out here. And I am not joking with you guys. This is real out here, man. This is not just some videos you're watching. This is real out here. So do not be swayed by these powers. This is why we are constantly told, do not get lost in people showing you powers. That Maddie Nottis, that's all she does over there is show powers. That's all she does. And her behavior is atrocious. She's a mammon lover. And so is Signorelli. I don't know. Isaiah, I have a different feeling about him. But uh, he's got some growing to do. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Vlad, I've already told you about him. He's the one who literally was calling me a witch and a demon using God's word. Um, and then he got two of his pastors to attack me, to call me a demon. He's coming from the dark side too. You have to understand, this is why I'm being attacked the way I'm being attacked and why they're not attacking um, Jenny, Jenny Weaver, why they're not attacking her, where she was in fact was a real witch. And they're out here calling me a witch. I've never done witchcraft ever, ever. I've never even practiced Hinduism. I only read Nis Argadotta's books and I'm being brutally attacked out here. This is the reason why, because I am genuinely from the light and I'm blinding their eyes. They can't stand it. <laughs> so think about what I just said. Um, Catholic church, Christianity, not the Catholic church, Christianity goes way back to the Roman era. They had false gods. They were using these demons of the earth and of the air in their secret societies. They were having orgies. Um, I am being told, and when I say told, I don't mean I'm hearing a voice. It's, it's a knowing that I have in my form that comes over me that, that they did do human sacrifices back then. That has not been verified by me, so I can't say. At this point, I can just say it is a feeling that I'm having, a knowing that I'm having. So I have to verify that. That is what I'm getting. This is the reason why they did not include the book of Enoch in the Bible, they did not want people to know about these demons or these powers. So um, you have to understand as, as folklore and history has been passed down through the generations, 
of the story has changed quite a bit. Jesus Christ today is not the, the, the Jesus Christ who walked on this earth. The story has been changed. His legacy has been changed to suit man's kind evil, to suit man, mankind's evil. So um, you all really have to do your own research and you have to stop listening to, to these people out here on this internet. It is a free for all for narcs out here. That really is all I can tell you. It's, uh, it's very eye opening. It's very eye opening. But this is in fact why I'm being attacked because I could see all of them. I could see all of them. You guys have a blessed day.